You guys want to get warm? You want to dig a little bit, help these guys? All right. Just watch this, guys. This thing is like really sharp. Let's go over here where it's loose, and then I'll go over there. And once you get this all thrown outside the circle. You don't have to do that without money. Okay. No, I'm not saying. It's not really on it. It's getting on my heart. And that gives a nice base for the plant to sit on. Yeah, I'll hold it, I'll hold it, and you can push it. Yeah, there are some rocks in here. Oh, wow. Right. Getting little chunks. Water is a very uh, important resource that we have to conserve in the future. And this is one way to do it. Push a little bit. And it makes it a little bit easier. If we were to capture water off this whole building, we would save somewhere in the order of a quarter of a million gallons of water in one year. That we wouldn't have to draw from our reservoirs that contain drinking water to irrigate landscapes. So can you see in the future, if any of you want to be engineers, or any of you want to be architects, or city planners, that it would be wise to capture as much water as we possibly can? We have a little high spot over here. Now, we're not just digging this for exercise, guys. Do you understand why we're digging this out a little bit? We're going to put about six inches of stone here, and that's going to be a nice, firm base. This is a learning opportunity. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Everybody knows what a one, one square foot is, right? Yes. Well, here, here it is. One square foot. It's one foot this way, one foot this way, and one inch deep. Now, if it rains enough to fill this one inch by 12 inch by 12 inch container up, how much water would you guess that would be? One square foot of water? <laughs> it's one twelfth of one square foot of water. So if it rains an inch on one square foot, we can capture off this rooftop six tenths of a gallon. Now this rooftop, if you measure, it's 25 feet this way and about 40 feet this way. Okay, that's about a thousand square feet. So if it rains a one inch on a thousand square feet, a thousand of these. How many gallons of water is that? If each square foot is six tenths. Six hundred, exactly. So off of one eighth of this rooftop, because there's eight pound spouts, four on this side, four on the other side. One eighth of this rooftop is producing in a one inch rain six hundred gallons that instead of running down this pipe and going off to this pond over here where these pine trees are, we can capture it and use it to irrigate our rain garden. What if everybody in Chapel Hill in Carborough had a system like this on their house and they could capture water and utilize it to irrigate their landscape. Mm. Would we save a lot of drinking water? Yes. Yeah. 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 If we captured all the water that ran off this building in one year, it would be a quarter of a million gallons, 250,000 gallons off this rooftop. Mm. Uh, that's great. So I'm going to cut on the outside of the line. Do you guys recall about three years ago there was a, uh, a drought where they were really concerned about the le uh, levels of water in Jordan Lake and Falls Lake? That's where our drinking water comes from. So one of the things that we're looking in, into is how we can conserve rainwater before it goes into the lakes. Because right now, when water comes off this big roof and all the roofs of the school, where does it go? It goes to runoff, and it doesn't go to the wastewater treatment plant. It goes out here in these streams, and then it goes to the lakes. Well, the thing is, why don't we capture some of this water in some of these tanks, and we're going to use it to irrigate this garden and some of the landscape? So why hasn't this been thought of before? Well, it has. It's been around for thousands of years. They use it in other countries all the time. There Get these go. little pieces off right there. Okay. That's what we're doing. Oh, no. <laughs> Oops. Kevin, can I help you? I like this. It's your aerial. It's really exciting. Spine cover. <laughs> 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 <You're really bad laughs> right here. That would be difficult. It took all of Come on, Kevin, use your strength. So um, we have an inlet pipe and an outlet pipe. So let's take this pipe. Put it in the one on the right, and then after he gets that in, we need an elbow. Got it. Who's got the elbow? That's it. I have got the an right elbow. elbow. 
I'm All right, two. so just make sure that it's... <laughs> now remember, the basket filter has side. to sit on top of it. Squeeze me. All right, now how the, how's the water going to get in? <laughs> you lift it up and you put that we thing in. We need to send you to plumbing school. Thank you. Put that thing in. All right, now that's our basket filter. Now our basket filter contains this little screen that keeps the mosquitoes out and the trash out. That's so That goes in the top. Very Sorry, cool. Okay, someday. there's our inlet. Now, what about the outlet? Oh, this is the That goes on? <laughs> That's the connector? <laughs> this is the connector. Now, what direction is that elbow going? Upward. Down? Downward. Or up? Upward. It's downward. the outlet. It's downward. What are you talking about? Downward flows. It's going to happen. Downward. downward. It's okay, Trey. We all, all make right. mistakes. All right. Everybody around on that side of the tank. All right. And what I want you guys to do is, don't push yet. When I tell oh, you, really you guys are going to slowly help me to push it back into the wall. That was a little faster and slow, but there's our inlet. We'll push that over closer to the wall and get that set. But now the, the water's going to come down the pipe into our basket filter, into the tank. And once the tank fills, this outlet now is going to be connected to this existing system. And you guys will have 10,000 pounds of water, or 1,500 gallons of water, that you can use to irrigate the garden. Yes. 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 Now, everybody, one, two, three, go stay! Oh, you guys are quiet.